Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jess and I do a lot of fashion and beauty videos, but I also do a lot of lifestyle vlogs. And if you've been following me for a while, then you know I am pregnant. If you didn't, well then surprise. I am 35 weeks today and I could have five more weeks ago, could have less, could have more. So we are basically, I wanna say 90% ready in terms of all the baby essentials that we think we need. Again, this is our first baby, so I'm really relying on books, other baby experts, and like two mommy friends that I actually have in my life. So I actually had to do a lot of research myself. I feel pretty comfortable with everything that I have gotten so far because I've either gotten a lot of good feedback from all you mamas out there that are following me, or these were recommendations from you guys as well. So super, super thankful that I have a community that has had babies or are having babies so we can share this experience. <laughs> and today's video is sponsored by Philips Avent. It's actually one of the brands that came up when I was doing all my research on baby stuff. If you guys didn't know, cause I didn't know, they're the number one recommended mother and child care product brand. So they have a whole line of products that I'm actually gonna go through first because I think like these are pretty substantial products that you need for your baby. And then we'll kind of get into some of the more like the decor stuff. So one of the reasons why Philips Avon is actually the number one recommended mother and childcare brand is that they work with healthcare professionals, clinicians, and mothers to develop their products. So they do a lot and a lot of research and a lot of like development with people who are actually using these products. So that's what makes me more comfortable about committing to them and using this for like our baby because so many people who know what they're talking about use it and have helped develop it so hopefully that gives you peace of mind that like it's developed by professionals and actually like moms who use it because it really did help me like I feel like because I'm a first-time mom I'm relying so much on trusting brands that actually know what they're doing so the first item we're going to talk about is the double electric breast pump and breast pump is actually one of the well, a few things that I knew I needed. So hopefully I'm able to breastfeed. That's definitely one of my goals as a new mother, but we're gonna get there when we get there. So I do have a breast pump from Philips Avent. It's called the Double Electric Breast Pump and it comes in this super, super handy to-go bag because you really never know when you're gonna need to pump and Philips Avent has taken care of that. So this is like the major piece slash machine of the double electric breast pump and it runs on rechargeable batteries so super super cordless if you need it to be and super easy for on the go it actually has this like belt obviously not here but like you can't see below here so it goes around your waist and you would just like slip this in and then plug in all the extra bits and pump as you go then there are these guys obviously I don't know if I need to explain what these do, but they go right on the boob. This one has like the lid on it. This is what it looks like without the lid. And then like the tube goes in here and it's a whole thing. So then you would like pump into the bottle and then you have like the bottle head with the with the little sucker on top. Um, we'll go into the different types of bottles that Philips has. And another thing that I've heard about this system is super like gentle which I feel like is super important <laughs> as a new mom. Like I've just heard like all the stories about really sensitive nipples, but yeah, super gentle, but it's also very fast and effective because you also don't want to be like pumping for a long time because at the beginning you're just feeding the baby all the time. So it takes too long. Then you're just doing it all the time. So this one's also like super personalizable. It has like eight different stimulation settings and 16 expression levels. What do those feel like? I have yet to find out, but we are going to do, I think a baby review after I've had time to actually use all these products, but this is just like an initial intro so that you guys can check out the products that I actually got for myself. So I just mentioned the bottles in the double electric 
breast pump, but I also just wanted to go into bottles a little bit because I know that it's like a super overwhelming process to decide what kind of bottles to use. Like everyone's told me that like your baby's gonna be different, like you don't know what kind of bottle your baby's gonna like, and I'm like, okay, so like where do I start? So for Phillips Avent, they have a bottle called the Natural Bottle, and I'm hoping this one will work. I mean like worst case, if it doesn't, we'll have to keep exploring, but I have really high hopes for this one because the nipple of like the bottle, here, let me open it up so that I can show you. Okay, so the ones that I have are glass bottles. It's your preference on what kind you like. The glass ones do come with like a little cute <laughs> protector. It's like a shock protector. So essentially what I'm talking about looks most like the breast is this part. So this part has been designed to look as much like an actual nipple as possible. And the benefit of that is so that like I can continue breastfeeding and then Travis can also be like helping feeding with a bottle too. Like, so it's supposed to like resemble a nipple so that the baby can transition easy between the two. And I'm thinking that if this one resembles a nipple like the most, then it probably has a better chance of being something that the baby likes. Plus like this whole natural range actually has um, different softness like of this part and different flow rates. So like as the baby ages, like it needs different softness of the actual part here and the different flow rates because it like resembles kind of like how much they can they start like needing to drink. So yeah, I'm super excited to try these out and really hoping that baby likes them because like one of the things that like Travis is looking forward to is also obviously bonding with the baby too. And <laughs> since he doesn't have a breast, the best way to do it would be from a bottle. So it would be a great way for them to bond. I'm just super excited to see him and baby just bond and have their little moments. So, and on the topic of things that babies put in their mouth, Phillips Avent also has these things called the Soothy Snuggies, which are essentially like soothers attached to the cutest little guys. Like, look how cute. It comes in like so many different um, animals. I have the giraffe and elephant. So I feel like if you've ever seen a Soothy, you'd probably recognize this one, this green one from Phillips Avent. They actually use it in hospitals for newborns. So pretty sure if hospitals use this for all newborns this is gonna have a good chance of working with my baby so you can actually remove the two so you can wash this one separately and wash this one separately because obviously they need different washing techniques so the next item for some reason like i just knew i wanted like right when i was starting to think what i wanted for a baby is a bottle warmer again why I wanted it, who knows? But Phillips Avon actually makes one that's like called the fast bottle warmer. So it's super, super efficient, very fast at heating things up. Also is very compact and sleek looking. And it's not just for bottles. So like obviously like you put the bottle in here, but it also fits like most baby food like brand jars and also fits like other baby bottle brands as well. So like on the off chance that baby doesn't like the Phillips Avon bottles, like this can still be used. So it's multi-brand friendly, which I always love because you just never know with a baby. Okay, so next up is one that I'm pretty excited about. It's called the Premium Bottle Sterilizer and Dryer. It's a little bit of a mouthful, but the name says what it does. Reason why I am so excited about this one is because one of the things that like I really wanted to get done in the house before baby came was getting a dishwasher in our kitchen but it was something that just wasn't gonna work because we would have to rearrange the whole kitchen and we just didn't have time for that so the fact that we have this like specifically made for a baby dishwasher essentially the small and compact is pretty amazing so essentially this will sterilize everything in 10 minutes and then dry everything in 30. So it's really, really quick. So this guy actually has a drip tray that prevents the droplets from obviously what's going on inside from hitting the heat plate. And that's what causes a lot of like that like odor that you get sometimes from things like these. So they really thought of everything. So it's really, really fast. Like I said, it, everything is done under like 40 minutes. And if you don't need everything super dry, it can be done even faster. And yeah, I'm just super excited about this because I didn't get my dishwasher, but 
this will do. Okay, before we move off the floor, we are going to go through these items that I have behind me. I haven't unpacked them yet because they just came in a box as well. Okay, so this one is the Moby Wrap Classic. They have a lot of different kinds, as you can see in the box here. Um, I chose the Classic because it looked the easiest. I don't really remember why I chose this one. I went back and forth between two different ones, but ended up with this one. Do I have an elastic, guys? I might need an elastic because my hair is in the way. One of the reasons why I cut my hair long so that I could put it back. If I cut my hair short, I just don't know what I'd do with a baby. Okay, so I got a soft wrap for the baby and a hard wrap. Um, I just heard the soft wraps are better for like newborn newborns because they like to be super close. I don't know how to use this. I was going to demonstrate it and I don't, I don't know if we can do this today. It's just, it's literally a wrap. We're gonna have to do some tutorials so I can figure it out. But this is the Moby <laughs> wrap. It looks like this. It's like a really cute and soft marled gray. Okay, there are obviously instructions for this, but I'm just a little bit overwhelmed with how many things we have to get through in this video. That we'll do a different video for maybe the wraps and how to figure it out. This is the Bjorn Carrier one. So I went with this one just because it has like the best reviews and because when I'm looking at the straps that go over the shoulder, they like had the support without being super wide and thick. The other brand I was looking at was Ergo Baby and the Ergo Baby one like just literally looked like this huge shoulder pad and I have very small shoulders. So I just felt like that one was just not going to be comfortable for me. So this one, like these ones are a lot easier to deal with because you literally just go like that right and then it's on so like you can see like the shoulder straps aren't too wide on me and they fit pretty it's pretty good maybe we'll just be right here i think this one is really good buy i think it's a little bit more expensive than the ergo baby but i think worth it because think about how many times you're going to use this carrier and for how many years i chose to get the black one it's most neutral best for spills and accidents and also travis is going to be using it so i thought that it works for him as well i believe this is cotton so it's also super easy to clean and it's just a lot softer they have like a net one like a netted one that's supposed to be like better for breathability but i'm just like picturing if that netting gets dirty how hard it would be to clean so i didn't go with that one so yeah baby bjorn carrier one and the moby classic are the two carriers that i got okay so now for sleep sacks haven't opened either one of these i kind of forgot about them when i did some pre-washing this weekend so i'll have to do another load I got these two. So we have the Halo Bassness, which I will show you in a second. So I got the Halo Sleep Sack. I don't really know if I can use it for a newborn because it literally says like three to six months. So I think when it's a newborn, you put it in a swaddle to sleep, like an actual just wrap. And then we also are trying this one. This one I got sent from my registry, like someone gifted it to us. So pretty excited about it as well because the person who sent it said they used it for their son. This one is also three to six months. So I'm assuming that you don't use these sleep sacks till three months. Um, and then we'll just use like the muslin swaddles that I have in the drawer and then i got like two burp claws i feel like i'm gonna need more i had two other ones but i threw them in the wash and they shrunk 50 percent. so they were <laughs> like this big now they're this big so i think those ones are goners this one i got from hudson's bay it's from this brand petite lem okay so this is what it looks like undone i guess you just go like that it has a little divot for your neck and then for baby so it's a good size. Literally the one that I just washed like is this big. It's shrunk so much. So I might order a couple more from this brand knowing that like I like the quality and the size. And then I got a Petite Lem giraffe towel set. My sister actually got us a really cute elephant one for Christmas. So now we have two animal hood towels. And then this is a change pad cover. So let's move to the changing table. So this is 100% cotton. It's like a gray gingham material. It's gonna be like a fitted cover over our changing mattress, which I'm gonna bring you up to show now, if I can get up. Okay, so this is a changing table from Indigo. It's by South Shore. I just really liked it because of this, like the leather tabs here, and it just has a lot of storage available. 
And then this is the mattress we got for the changing table by a brand called Cushies. So it's actually made in Canada, which I find pretty important if you can find something made in Canada. And then this would go on there after I wash it. I like the, like the neutral, but it's a pattern to kind of break up all the white here. While we're at the changing table, I'm just gonna show you this little thing that I just got. It's a wipe dispenser, so it's a lot easier than like opening the package every time. You just have to open it and whip it out. And then in here, I have a bunch of things so far. I have Hello Bello wipes, because I heard these are really good. Then I have the Genie diaper um, bags in here. I have one cloth diaper. I don't know if we're gonna use it because I'm just very confused about it right now. And then there's like a little, someone sent us a little therapeutic teddies. So it can be warmed up or used cold, like how you would use your own cold and heat thing. And then Water Wipes actually sent over some wipes. So we'll see if Baby likes those. So we have two different kinds for Baby to try. And probably one of the more controversial items I've gotten is a Diaper Genie. So if you guys aren't familiar, this is what it looks like. And essentially, like you put those bags in there, you drop the diaper in, and then like it helps seal the odor from getting everywhere. So you're not like constantly throwing out diapers out of the house to keep the smell from accumulating. I'm just gonna sit down on the recliner for a second because my back hurts. One of the reasons why I said it's very controversial is because some people said that doesn't work at all and then a lot of people say that they loved it. So we'll see if we liked it. I mean it's a $50 garbage can and the other ones that people recommended are like over a hundred. So I feel like even if it works a little bit it would be good. I just wanted to show you my on the go changing mats. So this is by the brand Gather. It's an American brand. And yes, you will have to pay duties and taxes on it, but I've heard from a lot of people that they're worth it. So they're essentially like these like vegan leather material mats. I have one that's double sided and then one that is one sided just cause I wanted to test out the difference. They're pretty big and long. So I think it'll last for the baby for a while. And essentially you can just like roll it up, fold it up, put it in your diaper bag or use it around the house when you're not like specifically changing just in here. And you just like put the baby on it and it's easy to wipe and clean because I heard the cloth ones obviously aren't going to clean as well. But these being like this vegan leather material is going to be super easy to wipe. Okay, next up is our bassinet. It is the Halo Essentia Bassinest. I accentuate the nest because everyone always thinks that I am saying it wrong, but it's actually pronounced nest. And I just really like it because it doesn't have any of that technology that a lot of bassinets have now. And it's just like super simple. It's see-through so you can see the baby when it's in it. Like if I end up having a cesarean and need to recover, like the side comes down all the way down. So you don't need to like bend over too much to get it. You can get the baby from bed and it comes back up. So this is the base of the bassinet. It is very heavy and sturdy and I know a lot of people say that like in a negative way that's very bulky but like, you want your baby to be stable and like this is not going to move so I personally like it and I think that it was a good choice for us because we didn't want any like technology in the bassinet. The snoo was something we were looking into but Travis just had a really really strong feeling against not wanting any electronics in the actual bassinet so we went with this one. And my mom crocheted us a little baby blanket that I've been putting here for now. Okay, this is the crib. We went with the baby Leto crib. It's called the three in one. I will obviously link the exact one because I don't have the exact name on me. We went with a wood finish because after reading a lot of reviews, people said that anything with like paint it usually chips off and it's just a little bit more hazardous for a baby. So we went for a clean wood crib. And I think also like it just goes better with our aesthetic anyways. I'm waiting on the mattress to come. I ordered one from a Canadian company. Um, it's made in Canada. So I will link that in the description box as well. Also have a crib skirt that I haven't washed yet. So I haven't put on the crib, but essentially it will just make everything look a lot cleaner. And then we have this little guy from Indigo. He's a little ham that I haven't decided yet. I was gonna use it as like a laundry hamper for baby, but I'm also thinking it could be a good place to put all the toys. So to be determined, but it's more of a decor piece for the room right now. All right, and then this guy is the Monty Design Recliner. So this one is in their performance fabric 
and it's in the color sand. So it's a glider and a recliner. So essentially that means like it rocks, but it also reclines. So this part comes out so my legs can chillax. Yeah, that's the mess of filming. And then also allows me to recline back which I find important because like we actually just did like a breastfeeding class and there's like a couple breastfeeding positions where it works better if I'm reclined back. I originally didn't think I needed a recliner, but then after we did that class, I was like, okay, gotta commit for the recliner. Just makes things a lot easier. And I want to, like I said, like breastfeed for as long as possible. So hopefully this will help that as well. And it's just super comfortable. So this one's pretty narrow. You guys can really see my belly here. It's really narrow because like we obviously don't have like a ginormous nursery, but I still needed to fit like a crib, a bassinet, a changing table, and now recliner so I chose one that was as tiny as possible but still being comfortable like I can actually cross my legs and be comfortable in this which I also find super important because I am constantly changing leg positions and crossing my legs is definitely one of the best ones and I just feel like I'll be spending a lot of time in this chair so this is my diaper bag from a brand called LASIK. It's just like this beautiful color and it's a conscious brand. So that's an extra plus. This is what the inside looks like. Oh my gosh, I forgot a pair of little mittens. So I'm gonna add that to my next wash. How cute. This is what the bag looks like inside. It has this little bag, I guess, like you can put stuff in it and then more compartments because obviously you need a bajillion compartments for baby and i just think it's super minimal and pretty it doesn't like necessarily look like a diaper bag it's just could be just a cute regular backpack all right and then this is a feeding pillow from snuggle me it's a feeding and support pillow so essentially you can use it to feed like that like supporting the baby close to your boob or they can sit in it when they can start sitting or just like you know tummy time so i got the natural color just organic cotton super soft i just really like it. it's pretty firm and it's really soft and made of really good materials we have the snuggle me organic actual pillow which i'll show you too but i just really like the shape of it i've tried it on my body already and it just is super comfortable because it has like the tapered ends as well so this is the snuggle me i asked for this for christmas because i knew that i really wanted it everyone said this one was the way to go so i've put the cover on it already we got like the natural one of course like it matches that and then i got the natural cover and i also got i think this is a gingerbread so we have like two different colors and they're covers so you can like remove them and you can wash it so the inside just like looks like that it has black stitching like the cover and then the inside is literally the same material as the uh, feeding pillow what you would use it for is like baby would just like lie here and hang out and then we also got this little guy it's a bathing stand support system so you just put the baby there and shower them it's made in canada as well so it's actually a couple good canadian like actual made in Canada brands. Pretty happy about that. Then we have the No Me high chair. Well, this is not technically the high chair because I put the newborn kit thing on it. This is the same brand that makes the Trip Trap, basically the wooden one that you see everyone has. I just really preferred like this shape a little bit better. I thought that it was a little bit more like space friendly and it just looked so much more modern i chose a lighter wood and then went with the black legs i was surprised that i went with black because i thought that i would prefer white but i actually saw the white in person and it just looked a little bit cheaper and i just didn't like the idea that this one actually can like turn into a full chair so the baby slash kid can be using it when they're like 10 and i just feel like it is plastic right so like it's gonna get scratches eventually and like if you have white scratches and like it's sp you spill like tomato sauce or something like it's gone forever but with black it will obviously keep better and it just looks more modern it comes with like the normal high chair function but because i wanted this newborn set i changed it out for this and then this is for baby to just like lie in so let's say i wanted to do my makeup or something or was cooking baby could just be like right beside me kind of hip level this is hip level for me 
instead of like a lot of the baby things that I saw like were close to the ground and I'm like I don't really want my baby always on the ground so like I wanted something where they could still like be lying down but still like closer up to me and also you can like put this by your dining table so like at the beginning we can like eat dinner and still have baby like at the dinner table with us. I'll link this down below so you guys can see what the actual like full high chair looks like because like you buy basically this and it comes with a high chair attachment and then you can swap out different ones later on like as they age and this is the aftermath of the video <laughs> i have to clean this now it was so clean earlier but these are all the items that i have for the baby so far so that's a wrap hopefully you found that helpful and not too overwhelming i know that there's a lot of things that we talked about today but there are just so many things that i feel like a baby needs and i'm not even completely done getting that yet i will film a video kind of reviewing everything that we've talked about today probably in maybe four months depending on how overwhelmed I am with the actual baby and then I can give you more info on whether I think that it was worth it whether or not these things work for my baby and all that jazz so if you have any questions of course leave them down below I will be linking everything like the Philips advent stuff I talked about today in the description box and the other items I talked about hopefully you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up up. subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and i will see you very soon